So if you're watching this, you may be wondering, why is this happening in my finances? Well, let's unpack that little word, why. Why is the cause, reason, or purpose for something? So what is the cause, reason, or purpose for the stress you feel in your finances? Maybe more month at the end of the money, maybe no cash in the bank, maybe never seeming to get ahead. Why is that? Well, let me very simply put it in context for you. I've had 35 years at Ronald Boone Company of helping people understand the five uses of money and, and, and how to do a plan accordingly. So simply put, why you may be having stress in your finances is you don't have these, these boxes all filled out. So let's talk about them just a minute. First of all, you need to talk about your income and this is your gross income, not your take home. Many people talk about their take home, but really it's your gross income. And then what you do from that point on is you make sure you have a number in each of these boxes. So living expenses, that's what typically referred to as a budget and you get a living expense number. This is like groceries and vacations and kids braces, things like that, gas for your car and so forth. So you'll put a number in there, then you'll come over and you'll put a number in your giving box. That's what you give to your church or maybe to your university or whatever. And then you'll need to figure out your taxes. Taxes are a function of your income, so maybe your accountant can help you do that, but we all have a tax number. Okay, so that number goes in. And then we have a number, this is our debt payments, this is anything but your mortgage. Your mortgage will be in your living expenses, but the debt box is things like, you know, maybe you have an auto loan or, or a student loan or credit card debt. And so once you get a number in each of these boxes, here's the key. When you say, why are my finances like this? Your finances are probably like they are because you've not filled out all these boxes and you've not made sure you have a positive margin. Very simply put, you make sure that you're spending less than you make. Now, as we wrap up here, let me just give you a couple of things I've observed as I've counseled couples where some of their money goes during the year that puts their finances in, in a stress mode. Right here's one of them. Typically, people are having too much withheld and they get a big refund come April and then they go on a vacation or go out and splurge and think they've just had their ship come in. When in reality, that was their money all along and their financial situation may have felt better throughout the year if they got their withholdings more in line with what they're really going to owe and not get a big refund at the end of the year. So I would encourage you to really look at that tax box and try to get that on a monthly basis rather than all at once in a refund. And the second place that we find people putting money and it kind of puts their financial uh, house in stress is retirement. In other words, they're funding retirement. It's coming out of their gross paycheck. They don't even see it and it's going into retirement. So what happens is they're kind of stressed out. They have no money in the bank. They have no cash, but they have money in retirement. So I would encourage you, if you have a positive margin, you can fund retirement, but make sure you're not inadvertently causing stress in your financial life by funding retirement before you actually have a positive margin. So simply put, the way to have financial peace of mind is to spend less than you make. The only way you know if you're spending less than you make and having a positive margin is make sure you have a number in each of the boxes.